with Mr. Thomas. Hey, hey, hey. Let's move on with functions. Lesson number five, we are looking at the graphs of inverse functions. If you remember last lesson, we were looking at inverse functions, which were written in the form f to the power of negative one of x. And what I want to do today is graph these. And the best way to do this is through an investigation. So I'm going to get you plotting two functions on the same diagram. The first one being f of x, which is 2x, and the second is its inverse, f to the negative 1 of x, which would, for this one, be half x. To do this, we'll do the first one first of all. f of x equals 2x. You may wish to come up with a table of values. So in your graph, you're going to have an x-axis and a y-axis. So pick some values of x and find out what y would be. y is really just f of x. So picking these values of x, work out f of x. So if f, blah, if x was 0, you would have f of 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. If it was 1, you'd have 2 times 1, which is 2. If x was 2, you'd have 2 times 2, which is 4. And you do the same with the negatives. You only need two points to draw a straight line, but you're best doing three, four, five points to make sure you don't make a mistake. So if you graph that, you should end up with something that looks like this. You've got your x-axis, your y-axis, and that is y equals 2x, or f of x equals 2x. Do the same thing with f to the negative 1 of x. If you graph that, put it on the same diagram, go and do your table of values, you should end up with something that looks like this. So f to the negative 1 of x is a half x, and that's them on the same diagram. So what do you notice? What do you see? Matthew, what do you notice about them? Yes, they are both going through the origin. Yeah, you notice that. Anything else? Yeah, a few points. Okay, let's try another graph then. So for this one, let's plot in the same diagram, f of x, which is x add 5, and its inverse, f to the negative 1 of x, which would be x minus 5. You can do the same thing with the table of values, but you would end up with f of x is x add 5, would look something like that. And plotting its inverse would look something like that. So that is these two lines plotted. So what do you notice about them? Lily, what do you think? Yeah, they are parallel. Good. Okay, so these are parallel. Uh, what Matthew said earlier with them going through the origin, you can see that these lines are not going through the origin. Uh, Lily's right, they are parallel. Okay, let's move on to another one. Investigation three. So plot f of x and f to the negative one of x on the same diagram again. So we've got 3x add 5, plotting that gives us something that looks like that. And its inverse will look like that. So what do you notice about these ones? Isla, what do you notice? Yes, the lines are not parallel, just like the last one, you're right. What else? Yeah, again, it's not going through the origin. Uh, and they are crossing. Yes, three good points, well done Isla. Let's look at all the graphs together. So we had the first investigation with these two lines. We had the second one with these two lines and the third one with these lines. What do you notice about them? Can anybody tell me? Adam. Adam, you're perfectly right, yes. What you can always do is if you look at this first diagram, if you draw in a line going diagonally down here, or the line y equals x, in other words, the x and y coordinates are the same, so you've got the point 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. If you draw in that line, then you can see that, well, what do you see? Let's draw in that line for the other one. What do you notice that time? Or for this one, for the third, what do you notice that time? Yeah, quite a few of you saying it. You notice that it's really acting as a line of symmetry. If you tilt your head to the side slightly, you may be able to see that. What you have then is if you graph f of x and f to the negative 1 of x, you'll always have that line y equals x as a line of symmetry. So the graph of f to the negative 1 of x can, uh, can always be found by reflecting the graph of f of x in the line y equals x. Or in other words, they are symmetrical about that line. So you can see here with this example, I've just put some points on the on each line. You can see that if I turn that around slightly, 
Okay. That there, the black line, is a line of symmetry. It's symmetrical about that. So if you know one of the points on f of x, you can easily work out the point on the inverse. And the way you do that, as it says down here, if we know a point such as 2, 4, on the inverse, all we do is we switch the x and the y coordinates around. So instead of 2, 4, it'll be 4, 2. It works for any of the points on the lines. So this point here, negative 5, negative 10. If we switch those points, we've got negative 10, negative 5, and that's going to be symmetrical. Try some of these questions then. In the book, see how you get on with it. Graphs of inverse functions. They are just symmetrical about the line y equals x. Good luck. Give it a shot. Have fun. Enjoy. Bye.